Multiplication is an operation that shows the total value of equal groups. We can multiply different numbers, including whole numbers and decimals. Decimals are values that include a whole and part of a whole separated by a decimal point. Decimals are all around us and we use them in our daily lives. Money and measurements are common examples of decimal numbers. For example, when buying grapes, we think about the cost and amount of grapes. How much would these grapes cost? Notice that the amount of grapes and the price are decimal numbers that include tenths and hundredths. In this video, we will focus on multiplying decimal numbers that include tenths and hundredths. Let's calculate the cost of the grapes by multiplying $3.20 per kilogram with 64 hundredths of a kilogram. $3.20 is the same as 3 and 20 hundredths of a dollar, or 3 and 2 tenths of a dollar. 64 hundredths is part of a whole. When we multiply 3 and 2 tenths by part of a whole, the product will be smaller than 3 and 2 tenths. An estimate is a value less than 3 and 2 tenths. We can use an array model to organize our numbers. An array model helps us think about multiplication as an area. In an area model, we think of one of the values as a length and the other value as a width. When the length and width are multiplied together, the product is the total area. To multiply these numbers, we organize the digits by place value. We have 3 and 2 tenths and 64 hundredths. In the area model, the length of 3 is longer than the length of 2 tenths. 64 hundredths is the same as 6 tenths and 4 hundredths. The width of 6 tenths is longer than the width of 4 hundredths. Multiply the value of each digit in one number with each digit in the other number. Multiply 3 with 6 tenths and with 4 hundredths. Multiply 2 tenths with 6 tenths and with 4 hundredths. These values are called partial products. Add together the partial products to get the total product, or in this example, the cost of the grapes. Multiplying in parts and adding the parts together is called the distributive property. The partial products can be calculated in any order. Start with 3 multiplied with 6 tenths. 3 multiplied with 6 tenths means 3 groups of 6 tenths. There are 18 tenths. 18 tenths is the same as 1 whole and 8 tenths. 3 multiplied with 6 tenths is equal to 1 and 8 tenths. Multiply 3 with 4 hundredths. This means 3 groups of 4 hundredths. 3 multiplied with 4 hundredths is equal to 12 hundredths. Multiply 2 tenths with 6 tenths. When multiplying a part of a whole with another part of a whole, we get smaller pieces. Start with 2 tenths. Divide the 2 tenths into 10 equal parts. 6 tenths of 2 tenths is 6 out of 10 of each of the 2 tenths. This is 12 parts out of 100 total parts, or 12 hundredths. Multiply 2 tenths with 4 hundredths. Start with 4 hundredths. Divide the 4 hundredths into 10 equal parts. 2 tenths of 4 hundredths is 2 out of 10 of each of the 4 hundredths. This is 8 parts out of 1,000 total parts, or 8 thousandths. Add all the values together to determine the total product of 3 and 2 tenths multiplied with 64 hundredths. Remember, when adding decimal values, it is important to add together digits of the same place value. 3 and 2 tenths multiplied with 64 hundredths is equal to 2 and 48 thousandths. Remember, the answer is the total cost of the grapes. Our answer is $2.48 of a dollar. 
Cents are out of 100, not 1,000. So round the answer to determine the correct amount of money. The 8 thousandths is greater than 5, so round the 4 hundredths to the next largest number, or 5 hundredths. The total cost of the grapes is $2.05. We estimated a product less than 3 and 2 tenths. If the product is close to what we estimated, we can be confident about our work and the answer. Is 2 and 48 thousandths less than 3 and 2 tenths? Another way to multiply these decimals is to line up the digits by place value. We can use a place value chart to help organize the digits. When using the distributive property, multiply the value of each digit in one number with each digit in the other number, and then add together the partial products. Multiply 3 with 6 tenths and with 4 hundredths. Multiply 2 tenths with 6 tenths and with 4 hundredths. When whole numbers are multiplied with tenths, you get tenths. 3 multiplied with 6 tenths means 3 groups of 6 tenths, or 18 tenths. When whole numbers are multiplied with hundredths, you get hundredths. 3 multiplied with 4 hundredths is 12 hundredths. When tenths are multiplied with tenths, you get hundredths. 2 tenths multiplied with 6 tenths is 12 hundredths. When tenths are multiplied with hundredths, you get thousandths. Two tenths multiplied with four hundredths is eight thousandths. These values in the chart are called partial products. When we add them together, we get the product of the two decimal numbers. Remember, when adding decimals, always add together digits of the same place value. It is helpful to put zeros in the chart. We get 8 thousandths, 24 hundredths, 18 tenths, and 0 ones. Remember, one group of 10 hundredths is 1 tenth. So 24 hundredths is the same as 2 tenths and 4 hundredths. We already have 18 in the tenths column. Two more makes a total of 20 tenths. One group of 10 tenths is one whole. 20 tenths is 2 holes, or 2. The product is 2 and 48 thousandths. This value shows the total cost of the grapes, which rounds to $2.05. How does this compare to our estimate? You can use an algorithm like this to multiply whole numbers. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure used to solve a problem. The same algorithm can be used when multiplying decimal values. When using the algorithm, line the digits up on the right. Multiply the digits of the second number with the first number. Multiply four hundredths with three and two tenths. And then multiply six tenths with three and two tenths. When you multiply a hundredth with a tenth, you get thousandths. Four hundredths multiplied with two tenths is eight thousandths. When you multiply hundredths with whole numbers, you get hundredths. Four hundredths multiplied with three is twelve hundredths. When you multiply tenths with tenths, you get hundredths. There are no thousandths. Six tenths multiplied with two tenths is twelve hundredths. When you multiply tenths with whole numbers, you get tenths. Six tenths multiplied with three is eighteen tenths. We already have one tenth. Eighteen more makes a total of nineteen tenths. One group of ten tenths is one. Nineteen tenths is the same as one and nine tenths. Add all the values. Remember to add digits of the same place value together. The product is 2 and 48 thousandths. This value still shows the total cost of the grapes, which rounds to $2.05. Notice that we get the same product using each model. The estimate still aligns with the product, 
so we can be confident about our work and the answer. Compare the place value chart model and the algorithm. Remember, 18 tenths is the same as 1 and 8 tenths. And 12 hundredths is the same as 1 tenth and 2 hundredths. Notice the partial products in the algorithm. Adding these two partial products gives 128 thousandths. We can see the same value in the algorithm. When we add these two partial products, we get 1 and 92 hundredths. We can see the same value in the algorithm. The same partial products are used in the algorithm and the place value chart. Here is another example. 12 and 4 tenths multiplied with 83 hundredths. 83 hundredths is part of a whole. Multiply 12 and 4 tenths by part of a whole, the product will be smaller than 12 and 4 tenths. An estimate is a value less than 12 and 4 tenths. Use an array model to organize digits and multiply the decimal number in parts. Organize the digits of each decimal by its place value. 12 and 4 tenths has three digits. Label one side with 10, 2, and 4 tenths. Label the other side with 8 tenths and 3 hundredths. This array model has two rows and three columns. When we use the distributive property, we multiply the value of each digit in one number with each digit in the other number, and then add the partial products. Multiply 10 with 8 tenths. This means 10 groups of 8 tenths, or 80 tenths. One group of 10 tenths is one whole. 80 tenths is 8 wholes. 10 multiplied with 8 tenths is 8. Multiply 10 with 3 hundredths. 10 groups of 3 hundredths is 30 hundredths. This is the same as 3 tenths. Multiply 2 with 8 tenths and then with 3 hundredths. 2 multiplied with 8 tenths is 16 tenths or 1 and 6 tenths. 2 multiplied with 3 hundredths is 6 hundredths. Multiply 4 tenths with 8 tenths. When multiplying a part of a whole with another part of a whole, we get smaller pieces. Start with 4 tenths. Divide the 4 tenths into 10 equal parts. 8 tenths of 4 tenths is 8 out of 10 of each of the 4 tenths. This is 32 parts out of 100 total parts, or 32 hundredths. Remember, when we multiply tenths with tenths, we get hundredths. Multiply the tenths with the hundredths. Start with three hundredths. Divide the three hundredths into ten equal parts. Four tenths of three hundredths is four out of ten of each of the three hundredths. This is twelve parts out of one thousand total parts, or twelve thousandths. Remember, when we multiply tenths with hundredths, we get thousandths. Add all the values together to determine the total area, or product, of 12 and 4 tenths multiplied with 83 hundredths. Remember, when adding decimal values, it is important to add together digits of the same place value. 12 and 4 tenths multiplied with 83 hundredths is 10 and 292 thousandths. We estimated that the product would be less than 12 and 4 tenths. If the product is close to what we estimated, we can be confident about our work and the answer. Is 10 and 292 thousandths less than 12 and 4 tenths? We can also multiply these decimals using a place value chart. A place value chart organizes the digits by their value. Use the distributive property. Multiply the value of each digit in one number with each digit in the other number, and then add the partial products. Multiply 10 with 8 tenths, and with 3 hundredths. Multiply 2 with 8 tenths, and with 3 hundredths. Multiply 4 tenths with 8 tenths, and with 3 hundredths. 10 multiplied with 8 tenths is 80 tenths. 10 multiplied with 3 hundredths is 30 hundredths. 
2 multiplied with 8 tenths is 16 tenths. 2 multiplied with 3 hundredths is 6 hundredths. When tenths are multiplied with tenths, we get hundredths. 4 tenths multiplied with 8 tenths is 32 hundredths. When tenths are multiplied with hundredths, we get thousandths. 4 tenths multiplied with 3 hundredths is 12 thousandths. Remember, when adding decimals, always add together digits of the same place value. There are 12 thousandths, 68 hundredths, 96 tenths, and zero ones. Remember, one group of 10 thousandths is one hundredth, 12 thousandths is the same as one hundredth and two thousandths. We already have 68 hundredths. One more makes a total of 69 hundredths. One group of 10 hundredths is one tenth. 69 hundredths is the same as 6 tenths and 9 hundredths. We already have 96 tenths. 6 more makes a total of 102 tenths. One group of 10 tenths is one whole. 100 tenths is 10 groups of 10 tenths, or 10 wholes. 102 tenths is the same as 10 and 2 tenths. One group of 10 ones is 10. The product is 10 and 292 thousandths. How does this compare to our estimate? Use an algorithm to multiply these numbers. Line up the digits on the right. Multiply the digits of the second number with the first number. Multiply 3 hundredths with 12 and 4 tenths. And multiply 8 tenths with 12 and 4 tenths. When you multiply a hundredth with a tenth, you get thousandths. Three hundredths multiplied with four tenths is twelve thousandths. When you multiply hundredths with ones, you get hundredths. Three hundredths multiplied with two is six hundredths. We already have one hundredth. Six more hundredths makes a total of seven hundredths. When you multiply hundredths with tens, you get tenths. Three hundredths multiplied with ten is three tenths. Multiply eight tenths with twelve and four tenths. When you multiply tenths with tenths, you get hundredths. There are no thousandths. Eight tenths multiplied with four tenths is thirty-two hundredths. When you multiply tenths with ones, you get tenths. Eight tenths multiplied with two is sixteen tenths. We already have three tenths. Sixteen more makes a total of nineteen tenths. A group of ten tenths is one. Nineteen tenths is the same as one and nine tenths. When you multiply tenths with tens, you get ones. Eight tenths multiplied with ten is eight. We already have one. Eight more makes a total of nine. Add all of the values. Remember to add together digits of the same place value. The product is 10 and 292 thousandths. Notice that we get the same answer using each model. We can be confident about our work and the answer. Compare the place value chart model and the algorithm. Remember, 80 tenths is 8, and 16 tenths is 1 and 6 tenths. 30 hundredths is 3 tenths and 32 hundredths is 3 tenths and 2 hundredths. 12 thousandths is 1 hundredth and 2 thousandths. Notice the partial products in the algorithm. Adding these three partial products gives 372 thousandths. We can see the same value in the algorithm. Adding the other three partial products gives 9 and 92 hundredths. 9 and 92 hundredths is the other value in the algorithm. The same partial products are used in the algorithm and the place value chart. We have looked at different models to multiply decimal numbers. Choose the model that makes the most sense to you. You might use different models depending on the numbers in the question. Each model uses the distributive property. 
The value of each digit in one number is multiplied with each digit in the other number. Then the partial products are added together. A helpful model for organizing digits is the array model. Understanding place value is important for multiplication. Grids can be used to visualize decimals. Remember, ones multiplied with tenths are tenths. Ones multiplied with hundredths are hundredths. Tenths multiplied with tenths are hundredths. And tenths multiplied with hundredths are thousandths. A place value chart is a helpful model for organizing digits by their value. It is helpful to fill the spaces in the columns with zeros. You may need to carry or regroup. This means taking a 10 from one column and changing it to one of a larger value in the column to the left. It is important to use estimation as a strategy to check your work and confirm your answers. Remember, when you multiply a number by part of a whole, or a number less than one, the product is part of the number or a smaller value. When you need to purchase items, work with measurements, or any other situation that includes decimal numbers, you can use these strategies to help you solve problems. Watch this video again, or others in this video series if that might be helpful, and talk to your teacher if you have any questions.